Hey, what's up guys? It's Forest Man here. Time for another Alliance War live attack video. And uh, this war that we're in right now, we're facing a much weaker opponent, opponent as far as Alliance strength goes. But they have bases ranging all the way from command center level 7s all the way up to 11s. Their 11, their top 2 or 3 11s are pretty much max bases. And their 7s, I believe, are mini versions, are mini bases of the same players. So they're, uh, they're putting up quite a fight for a weaker group. I'm slightly worried because obviously they have a far greater uh, plunder difference. Um, so far they're doing great. So Panoi Mavericks, if any of you guys see this video, good job on, on what you've doing, done so far. It'll probably end up being a very close war even though we've really fought pretty much perfectly. We had one, one star there, but so far we've had a really good fight of it. Um, hopefully... Uh, Hopefully we'll end up winning this one, but anyways, we'll uh, move on past that. Their top loot player is D. We'll take a quick look, quick look at his base. <clears throat> now he's got a pretty good setup here. I, I like it. Um, not a very easy base to defeat, that's for sure. Uh, there's not really any gaps in the top of the screen. The only options as far as your, if I was to try to fight a gap would be to uh, start on one of these bunkers down here, but I'm becoming less and less liking the uh, fighting the gap method. I've I've think I've discovered that starting on a hangar is usually a better way to go. So I'm probably going to stick on with that method. Uh, I'm probably going to start on this hangar up here. Um, I've debated on whether or not I'm just going to trip both of them and fight everything that comes out, which I very well may end up doing. Um, we'll see how it goes. If it, if I trip them both, I'm not concerned about it. I'm going to try to just trip this top hanger up here. But, uh, again, I'll, I'll take whatever units come out of that as well with the care package. I feel pretty confident that, uh, my AGRs, ASAMs, and Goliaths can take out whatever comes out of both of these hangers with the care package on them. Um, that being said, I'll start off with my typical ground units up in the top right, top left corner. I'll do a, uh, launcher to weaken up the communication center here. Then I'm going to do a lightning strike. I'm going to hit one strike on this communication center, and then I'm going to hit two on the SAM turret and the bunker over on this side. Uh, immediately after that, I'll drop a second care package, and then I'll do the gunship on the communication center. I'm hoping that after a launcher and one part of a, a lightning strike, that just the large cannon will be enough to destroy the communication center. Then I'll use the rest of my gunship ammo to finish off this SAM turret and this bunker. At that point, hopefully this has been tripped and I've I've destroyed all the units coming out of that. Um, I'll send a EMP launcher down to this SAM turret. I'll also probably throw a mine sleeper round down here as well just in case he's got a whole bunch of mines surrounding this uh, bunker. And then I'll use another EMP on this SAM turret over here with my second set of dragon fires. Don't really know how much time I'm gonna have left on this base. Uh, it's, again, this is a pretty tough base. Hopefully, uh, I'll do at least 30 seconds left, but that's that's the goal. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's make sure I have all my units trained up properly. 18 dragon fires, three AGRs, four ASAMs, and four Goliaths. My supported units, 10 level 10 dragon fires, and I haven't showed you guys before. If y'all are wondering what my skill levels are. On soap, I've got level 10 care or level 12 care package and level 12 minesweeper. On my ghost, I use a level 11 gunship, level 11 launcher, and level 10 EMP. And on Re Reaper, I've got a level 10 lightning strike. So that's what I'm working with, just in case anybody here was curious about that. And I think we are all set to go. Let's see how this attack goes. Ooh, barely got it down there.
Ah, that was bad. Hopefully both of those shots hit targets over there. We'll see. Oh, so much time on the gunship. I'm starting to worry about uh, tripping that other hangar. Which it looks like that's already happened and we are good, so no worries on that. Let's send a minesweeper around down that direction. Some EMP. Hey, look at that. My son Timmy and I listen to Audible. We're not squeezed into his tiny bunk bed. We're adrift on a makeshift raft in the waters of the South Pacific. I can feel the sun beating down on us. We're down to our last tin of water. A plane! Timmy, we're safe! Don't stand up! Timmy! Good thing we have carpet. All right, let's see how fast my units can finish the base off. First download is free. Audible. Stories that surround you. See, we're looking pretty good. I think that 30 seconds will be pretty easy to hit right now, so. I'm liking it. I don't even know what came out of that second hangar. I, I never even looked at it. That's one thing that I'll mention, and I know I've probably said this before, just trust your units to, to do their job. Um, if you get caught up in, in looking at exactly what's going on and you take too long to use your skills or you're super conservative or worried about you know everything going perfectly, uh, a lot of times if you, if you waste that time watching to see if things die, you've missed your chance to uh, use two or three skills instead. So. I will say that, don't get caught up in the little details, plan your attack, go with your attack, um, don't sit and watch your units die, be working constantly and, uh, and go from there. But anyways, that's it for this video, again, uh, good luck to the Pinoy Mavericks. So far you've done really well for, uh, for the weak bases that you have. Um, next war will be a 30 versus 30, I'm excited about that. And that's it, I'll see you guys next time.